Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have a get ready with me video and it really is a get ready with me. I didn't have any plan at all of what I was going to do so let's just kind of hang out together and get ready and it is a full face get ready with me except for the eyebrows so um, I do give away some tips and tricks of how to color correct dark circles as well so if that's something you have then you'll definitely want to keep on watching. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. The first color I'm going in with is Stay Golden. And I am going to run this like directly into the crease and then work it upwards. This is going to be our transition color today. Um, it's a tad bit dark for me because I am so light, but if you're a little bit tanner than me, this is going to be perfect for your transition shade. Um, and obviously I can get by with using it. So that's what I'm going to go with. And so for the most part, like I said, I'm running this directly into the crease and then blending it upwards towards my brow. And next I'm going in with the color Mejia. I'm going to start by placing this right in the outer corner. And then um, I will start to work it into the crease. And this will just give um, the darker kin color that we're going to be going all over the lid with. Just something to kind of fade into. You guys know I always like to use a transition color and then um go in with a midi color and then a dark tone color and that way we have like that um gradient ombre effect with the shadow so it helps to really eliminate any harsh lines go ahead and apply some tape just i feel like it helps to speed up the process if you have some tape on there this next color is kin and I'll be using the flat side of the multitasker brush. To start off by doing is just packing this on all over the lid. For the most part, Kin is a matte eyeshadow, but it has like almost like a satin finish. Which I like the satin finish because it makes it really easy to pack it onto the lid like this. So I'm going to pack this right on, bringing it right up to that crease. You guys know I always like to do multiple layers, so I'll get that first layer on, and then now I'm going in with the second. This is just a clean pencil side of the brush, and I'm going to start um, blending out that edge. And then I like to run over it with the blending side as well. And then if you feel like you kind of blended away some of the deepness, just go over it again. And I didn't add any additional product because I don't want to create any harsh lines. I just want to kind of touch it up a little and then just kind of blend it out here. Just going to follow that tape. Either way, the tape is so nice. Going back in with the color Kin. I'm taking the Know Your Angles brush. We're just going to get this right on that lower lash line. Now I'm going to go in with the pencil side of the brush and I am going to just start blending that out and softening it. Then grabbing some of Mejia on that um, pencil brush, just running that over it as well once again to kind of blend it out and this will add a little bit more um, of that pinky tone, that berry tone. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using the ColourPop um, brow pencil and it's in the color Bang & Brunette. I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be back to do the face makeup. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and spray my perfecter with some Stay Spray. And I'm just going to dab this all over. Smells amazing, just like coconut, and it's going to help your makeup last longer. And I like to do it this way with my drier skin. It just makes it feel more moisturized and gets rid of some of that um, dry flakiness. Today, I'm going to show you how to color correct. I'm going to be using the color Mango which obviously has a really orange tone that you perfecter into the color because you don't want a lot. Um, if you put too much product on, you're going to get cakey under the eyes and um, start to crease a lot. 
but I have some dark circles going on so I want to make sure to color correct those and you can see how much of a difference that makes and um, by using the perfector like this it really gives you just the tiniest amount like I don't even feel it um, on my skin I can just see I can just see the color and that's really going to help counteract that darkness under the eyes. Next color I'm going in with is Moonlit. That is the lightest color. I'm going to use the detail hack. So this is the lightest color and I am normally white peach, but when I'm going to color correct like this underneath the eyes, I like to go um, one shade lighter with my under eye and that just really helps to once again ensure that I am going to get the brightness that I want. And it is key to make sure that you are um, stippling this product on underneath the eyes. As soon as you start um, swiping the brush, you're gonna move all of the product and lose that coverage. And those dark circles are going to reappear. So just notice the way that I stipple this on. I'm grabbing my so crazy looking palette, but this is my personal one, and I'm going to go into White Peach. I'm going to use this in the rest of the areas. So once again, make sure you are stippling that brush where you need the coverage, like on those breakouts that I have. And then I'll just kind of swoop it and blend it down on the rest of the face. And my chin has gotten to be pretty clear. It just has a little bit of redness still, so I'm going to kind of do a stippling motion and get that coverage. This side of my face doesn't really have much for breakouts, so I just like to pretty much um, brush and blend it on. I like to use the smaller side of the brush to really get into the um, small areas here, like that redness around my nose. I am not a fan of, so I like to cover that. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of spot conceal. I like to call the eraser side, which is just the small side of the brush, and I just kind of dab on um, the highlight and it does a really good job at hiding those breakouts. And then I'm gonna run White Peach on my nose as well, just a thin amount. I don't like to do a lot of um, highlight on my nose. I really like how I have a little bit of freckles there, so I'm gonna, you know, try and show those off as much as I can. But I just want to kind of take away any redness that I have. And then, and then I also like to just kind of run a little bit on to my forehead. Now it's time to contour. I am going to be using indigo. So this is more for darker um, skin tones, but even if you're a lighter like me, you can get away with using it. Just getting that right on my cheekbones. I'm kind of do the fishy face. And you'll see them. For the most part, I just want to get that definition on there. I'm going to run that along my forehead, help that forehead to appear smaller. I do blend this right away because I feel like if you don't, it can, on the forehead for some reason, can be a little bit harder to blend if you don't do it right away. So that's just personal preference here. Okay, so now I'm going to start blending over. And so I'm just kind of stippling it and you can see how easily that just softens it. So super fast to do. Today I'm going to be taking Frenchie, which is like my all-time favorite right now. And I like to use the um, dome side of the 30 second hack brush. I feel like you can really get it on the cheeks and without it being like a harsh line. So that's what we're gonna do. Just kind of smile, get it on kind of like the top of that apple and work it back towards the hairline. So now we can take the perfecter and bounce over it. And this is going to help blend it very fast. I'm going to go in and set my face. I'm going to be using the Air Spun Powder today. This is an awesome option if you are like me and go through a lot of powder. For traveling, I love to have the vanilla dust. Like the vanilla dust is a must, but for every day, I have a tendency to go through it quickly. So I like to have the Air Spun um, to use. It's very similar. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a heavy amount like baking under the eyes um, especially since we did the color correcting I want to make sure to lock that all in and then I'll also do it 
pretty much on the center of the face with the smaller side and that's just really gonna help lock everything in it it's going to distribute a lot more of the product and then to set the rest of the face I like to use the larger side and then just kind of um, bounce that all over the rest of the areas and this is going to distribute a lighter amount so it's definitely whoa, it's definitely great for the areas that you don't need quite a, quite as much setting but with this being a cream everything being cream you definitely are going to want to set it i believe this is called the power powder brush and i'm going to use this side of it I'll be using my illuminator in the color pearl which is this one here and apply this right to the high points of our cheeks once again stippling it right on and then I always like to bring it right down here into that triangle shape as well. And just make sure that you don't apply it like only in a line. You want to kind of blend it upwards and down so that way it just kind of fades and you don't just have like a line of highlight. But you can take some on here and then I'm going to wipe it off. I just wanted you to see how I got the brush in there. And then you can like run it down the bridge of your nose and like some people really like that glow there and it's really nice too for doing your cupid's bow you can really pinpoint the areas that you want it so i went ahead and added some fake lashes and then i put some of the pearl illuminator on my inner corner and underneath my brow and then for my lips i have on i first did um pink grapefruit and then topped it off with nude um, just to make it a little less pink. Um, my lips are definitely super dry so just ignore that. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I just need to put some mascara on my lower lashes. So what I'm going to do is use the Lash Princess. And with this mascara you definitely have to um, wipe off a lot of the product. Sorry, it's probably not going to focus on the brush. but. So I've wiped off a lot of it and this does have fibers in it um, let me get my mirror here and so I'm just gonna put that on I love this for my bottom lashes oh my gosh what is that look at that you guys can you see that black I got mascara in my hair I thought it was a cat hair at first oh my gosh okay I'm gonna take a wipe and wipe that out how crazy that is totally how today is going. I feel like that's how my week is going, but could definitely be a lot worse. Now I have mascara. Just got some black um, color to my hair and I just washed my hair today, so that's not good timing, guys. Not good timing. All right, guys. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.